U.S. President Joe Biden addressed a joint session of Congress on Wednesday night. The speech comes a day ahead of the 100-day mark of Biden's presidency, a decades-old standard used to judge presidents. Biden also mentioned the Capitol riot on January 6. On that day, a mob of then-President Donald Trump supporters ransacked the Capitol building, including the spot where Biden gave speech today. Riot at the U.S. Capitol became one more flashpoint for an already divided country. Earlier, we've talked with the American people and an expert. Let's hear their comments on the performance of the Biden administration. I'm very happy that he is being held accountable for his actions. I think in the past we've seen a lot of actions kind of similar to that, that um, people were not being held accountable. So I think it is a good step. A lot of people were very happy about it. I think it was a good thing. You, you got to understand the history of this country. Black people have always been the stepchild of America, and we always will be the stepchild of America. And, and if we're gonna change this situation, we got to stop hating each other because we disagree. That's just the bottom line. And that cuts across all ethnicity. And from my perspective here in Missouri, the vaccine's available. And uh, that's good because it's gonna be the first vaccine that we're gonna have in the United States. And uh, we're gonna have to go in and initiate to get vaccinated, wear their mask rather than anyone, particular governor or president. They're trying to push us out of D.C. by raising the, the real estate income of affordable housing and stuff, trying to push us into more project apartments and not give us a chance to afford family homes by raising these house prices over hundreds of thousands of dollars. I have mixed views. On the one hand, we've seen a fairly strong team assembled, although I have some concerns about the team as a whole. Second, um, there have been a number of specific decisions that I've disagreed with fairly strongly, most recently the decision to pull out of Afghanistan. And I also disagreed with the decision to designate China as committing genocide in Xinjiang province. And I think that when the U.S.-China relationship is already so fragile and difficult, we should be careful with our words and careful not to uh, inflame things further. I'm not sure he has a big vision for how to handle U.S.-Russia relations going forward. We also need to work closely with China to come up with any effective policy, and I haven't seen any evidence of that happening yet.